Section 10.3 Analyze Data Section 10.3 Analyze Data Before you found measures of central tendency. Now you will find frequencies in a two-way frequency table. Key vocabulary Marginal frequency Joint frequency A two-way frequency table shows the number of items in various categories. Every element in the sample must fit into one of the categories and there must be no overlap between categories. Key concept two-way frequency table. A two-way frequency table divides data into categories across the top and down the side. In this case boys, girls and a total. Apples, oranges and a total. The body of the table gives the joint frequency. In other words, what you see there in red is called the joint frequency. The row and column totals give the marginal frequency. So the totals gives the marginal. Okay, now remember now, when you go across, that is a row. Going down is a column. Across left to right are rows. Down, up and down, are columns. Example 1. Read information from a two-way frequency table. The table shows the results of students naming their favorite subject. Miss Bailey's homeroom, Miss Cole's homeroom, total, math, science, English, and the total. How many students in Miss Bailey's homeroom prefer math? How many students from both homerooms prefer science? Solution. Solution. The cell in the row for Miss Bailey's homeroom and in the column for math contains eight. So eight students in her homeroom prefer math. In other words, she's looking right here. The column is math. The row is homeroom. So for math, that's eight. B. How many students from both homerooms prefer science? Solution. The cell in the total row and in the column for science contains 13. So, 13 students prefer science. In other words, the total row is 13. Science column is also 6 plus 7, 13. Example 2. Make a two-way frequency table. Make a two-way frequency table for the following data. There are 175 freshmen taking a foreign language. Of these, 88 take Spanish, 46 take French, and the rest take German. No one takes more than one language. There are 42 boys taking Spanish, 31 girls taking French, and a total of 89 girls taking a language. Solution. The categories are Spanish, French, German, boys, and girls. Fill in the given information, then look for ways to calculate the missing values. For example, the number of girls taking Spanish is 88 minus 42, which is equal to 46. The number of boys taking a foreign language is 175 minus 89, which is 86. The total number of students taking German is 175 minus parentheses 88 plus 46. Another way of saying what they're explaining right here is this. First go through and make your table by title. So boys, girls, total. Spanish, French, German, then total. Plug in the direct values that they give you. Then Based on the information that you have, you can figure out the values that are missing. For example, they told you 42 boys were taking Spanish. They also gave you the total of people who were taking Spanish. So, to figure out the number of girls, you would say 88 minus 42, which is 46. And that's what they have uh, there. So, that's how they came out with the 46. Another example will be here, 175 minus 89 is equal to 86. They gave you the 175 when they said 
a total of 175 freshmen were taking a foreign language. So that's the total right there. So that 175, they gave it to you. And they said of that, 89 girls were taking the language altogether. So to figure out for the boys, it would be 175 minus 89, which would be 86. And that's how they came out with that um, 86 right there. So once again, all you do is you simply plug in all the information that they give you and then just use your, your basic math through addition and subtraction to figure out what values are missing. Example 3. Analyze a situation in a two-way table. The table shows where students at a university live. So you got men, women total, live on campus, live off campus, and the total. A. Do more students live on campus or off campus? B. Is it also true that more women live off campus than on campus? Do more students live on campus or off campus? Solution. Look at the marginal frequencies in the total row. More students live off campus. So in other words, look here and here. Live on campus is 7,040. Living off campus is 7,768. B. Is it also true that more women live off campus than on campus? Solution. No. Even though the marginal frequencies show that more students live off campus. Looking at just the row for women, you can see that more women live on campus than off campus. So look at women. On campus is 3,824. Off campus is 3,758.